Hey guys, it's Peggy here with Citrus Templates and this is a training on how you can create uh, your own single property website uh, via Canva. So once you get a copy of the template, all you need to do is just to update it for your property listing. So here you can um, change the address, feel free to change the font, the color, anything like that, like you would a usual Canva template. So um, you can you know, change the address here. All of the photos are on a grid, so all you need to do is just delete this photo, then you'll see the uh, the grid here. And um, you, know, you can upload your own uh, photos for your listing here, and then, uh, and then put it in. But here, I can just put in any other um, photo here, and then of course you can adjust it up and down um, as you need to. So there's that, you can update the price. Um, here you can update the information here that you want. Um, if you want to change any of these icons, I usually just go to elements and then let's say you can do like bedroom icon, then you can uh, see, you know, different icons here. Um, all of these uh, should be free. Uh, so if you have a free account, you should be able to use it. If you do have a pro account, you get a couple more options on, you know, different bedroom icons and, and things like that. So, um, you know, you can adjust this for, you know, whatever else uh, you might want to put here. Um, then uh, you can, uh, again, all of these photos are, you know, uh, are on a grid. So it's really easy. You can just um, drag and drop. Let me find another living room um, here. Uh, so then you can just, you know, drag and drop this stuff in and, you know, adjust the photo. So you can, you can change um, any of these um, photos in here pretty easily. Um, you know, update your listing description. Uh, you know, you can use ChatGPT to write something for you here if you uh, can't think of anything. But this is where you can write a little description of the property. Uh, again, all of these grids are, um, are, 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 you can change these uh, photos to whatever you're looking for. Now, um, the grids, like let's say you've got this, uh, you might wanna, you have like more photos that you wanna put in. All you need to do is to duplicate this page um, to the to the next one and so these duplicate in sets of six so you can you can just uh, put in as many as you want if you don't want as many photos you know you can just do the trash and then this will just delete those number of photos so let me just put in some more um, pictures here so you can kind of see that so so once you put in all of your photos uh, you have again an option to do a video tour um, you can all you have to do is just upload your video and then you can drag and uh, you know delete this this you have to um, you know just delete and then you can resize your video in here so it's not a grid uh, but you can just put your video in here and again, if you like, let's say you don't have a video, you don't want to put a video in, you can just trash this here. And then, um, you know, this section will um, will get deleted. Um, and then if you ever want to move section, let's say you want to move your uh, your video tour up, you can always like move it up this way um, like that. Or uh, as another option, um, you can rearrange the stuff here, too. So uh, so you can you can rearrange the sections of of the, the thing as well. So. So that's that's that part here. Then location. Um, so Canva really cool has um, you know Google Maps integrated in here. So you can actually just type in your um, you can just type in the address and then it'll put it in here. So how this works is let me see if I can can I update this. Um, what you can do here is actually go to apps and then you can type in maps. So then this will bring up Google Maps here and it has a couple of these things, but all you really have to do is um, just type in your location. So I'm just going to put Vienna, Virginia here and then it'll it'll come up with the actual address. So if you had some other um, address, I'm just going to search one, two, three, Main Street. Um, Arlington. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually your real address, but you can see it changes, right? So you can see the actual address here, and then all you let me delete this one um, in here. Oops, let me trash that. And then you can just uh, click this one, and then it'll come in here, and you can adjust it like that. So 
So you can update the address in here pretty quickly. And then, you know, then you can add your information here about, you know, any of the, any about the location, you know, the schools close to transportation, anything like that here. So that's completely uh, flexible as well. Again, you can change the colors or uh, you can also um, change the font and stuff like that. And then finally, the last section is, you know, just for more information. So, so this is, um, you can, you can edit this, um, the photo here. So you can just put in your photo, you can edit the color um, of the border um, here as well. Um, again, edit in editing this information, and then you can change your uh, real estate logo here um, also. So you can just substitute uh, or add in your logo here. So so that's uh, all of the, the website. Now, a couple of things with the links. So let's say, so there's two links in this template. One is um, to your email address here. So uh, again, you can change your email. Let's say this is gonna be, um, we'll just, for example, change this to, um, to Peggy. So let's say this is Peggy at citrusrealty.com. So what you wanna do here is you can just highlight the whole thing. Uh, if I can do that, you can highlight the whole thing then this link button is going to come up. And so what you want to say is, is mail to Peggy at, and then your, um, your email, mail to citrusrealty.com. Citrus, citrus so that will just uh, automatically, when the buyer is looking at this property and wants to email you, when they click on that link, it'll open up their you know, Gmail or whatever and uh, let them email you directly. So that's how you can change the link on any of these and any other, like let's say if you wanted to uh, have this go to your website, you can always highlight this and then say, you know, this goes to, um, citrusrealty.com or something like that. So you can always update, you know, this information too as well and put links in here. Um, same thing here. Like let's say you have a link to the Clarendon Metro Station or you want a link to the elementary school, you can um, put those links in here as well with this link feature. And then finally up here, definitely make sure to update this link. Um, so if you just click on this box, um, if you click, you know, this information here, you'll uh, get this link and I already um, kind of pre-populated this but all you really need to do is uh, to update this your email address um, here so what it says is okay it's gonna mail to this email address and then the subject is already question about property so when the um, buyer or whoever's contacting you, um, their email is going to already draft um, an email that goes to you and the subject line is question about property. So you can change any of that too as well. Like if you know you're, you know, you're going to change this every time that you can say, you know, question about, you know, 123 Main Street or something like that. Um, so then uh, they can contact you directly that way. So, uh, and again, you can like, you know, change the, the color on this if you want to make it more of your branding colors and things like that. So, so once you're happy with the design, now you can also uh, preview this so you can, you can check it out um, to do either desktop, um, you can see what it's going to look like on your desktop. Uh, here and you know you can kind of scroll through um, and make sure it looks kind of what you want it to look like here and then and then you can also look at it in the mobile version too so you can see like this lines up pretty nicely um, here and then this is what's gonna look like on the um, on your phone so once you're happy with that then you can go to publish website here and then, then publish and um, here since I've already published this one um, it's it already has the link here but you can choose um, the name of your link uh, so with the free free uh, canva template you can get up to five websites done if you upgrade to canva pro then uh, you can get unlimited websites done so uh, if you have more than five listings at once then maybe you want to consider doing canva pro if not then uh, you know you can just use these as you need them and then you can just update the link uh, you know for the the address and stuff like that so let's say we're happy with this then all 
all you have to do is continue. And yeah, here you can edit your um, the name here. Uh, for Because I already uh, published one, uh, my first time that I published it, uh, it did let me choose um, your kind of the your personal URL. So you can also choose that as well and, I, and you can change that too. So you can do that. You can add a little bit of a description here. You can enable password protection. I don't think you need to, uh, you know, since you want to get this out to as many people as possible, uh, but that's also an option too. And then also to hide it from search engines. So once you do that, you can publish and it will publish this design for you. Wait a couple minutes to do this, and and then you should be good to go. You can share now. You can you know take a look at the website um, and see how see how that looks. Um, and then you can you know definitely copy your your link and you know you can feel free to share it um, you know on social media on any you know flyers or anything like that. Now, if you do have the pro version of Canva, you can actually connect this to a specific domain name. So maybe like you know one two three mainstreet.com or you know somewhere on your own website. So you can connect it to a domain, uh, but that's only in the pro version. So if you uh, have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. But I think this is a great, easy way to, you know, get a single property website, um, you know, to share with with people, you know, definitely via social media. Nobody really cares about the um, uh, the URL and stuff like that. So this is a great, easy way to do that, especially when you're starting out and you can offer it also as a marketing uh, bullet point, uh, you know, in your listing presentation that you can, you know, create these really great single property websites. So I will talk to you guys later and I will see you in another video.